to the next game. So this will be uh, Spicy versus Gotta. Uh, both have all won their games, so this is gonna be an interesting matchup. And let's see what actually happens. As per usual, I will be destroying my com immediately upon the launch of the game. Yeah, can someone fix the type with game 16? I'm sorry, I don't uh. know. Also sorry for that TS peak, as you may expect. Uh, I was talking to the rest of the tournament organizers. God is still selecting there his landing location. So, just waiting for him. And there we go, okay. Let's destroy the commander and see what is actually going on. The music gave out for some reason. And it's better. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Um, we have Spicy playing white. Pretty standard opener. Metal energy, probably not a metal energy coming up. And on the completely other end of the planet. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting game. They're on completely opposite spawn points. <laughs> I guess you know where he isn't. Okay. Yeah, uh, they probably saw the commander go boom. Um, so yeah, he went for Dream Metal, which is something uh, unorthodox, but it's a, it's a viable opener. So yeah, oh, actually they're not as far away as I would have thought, but there's this ocean between them, so an immediate rush unless via air is not going to be happening. Uh, also Dream Metal, apparently this is a new meta. Just post posting the links that the next match is up. Bot Factory first, and the bot is actually supporting the Econ with some extra power. Uh, the bot factory for Spicy will be somewhat later. More metal coming up, more energy coming up as well. So, bot buildings are reversed, we won't be seeing any scouting going on early game. I prefer, personally, um, to get the air factory up first so I can get some scouts out, but it's not exactly the most pressing concern. Uh, is he actually gonna finish that? Yeah, he's gonna finish that. If you don't finish your buildings and just leave them halfway finished, they will actually uh, decay and disappear. So it's always best to have something building it, even if it's building very slowly, because otherwise you're just wasting, well, have wasted a lot of time and effort on a building that will just disappear. Of course, it's not as important on smaller buildings, but on larger buildings, it is definitely a concern. So, more metal claiming going on. Lots of bots going for that metal. Uh, energy storage coming up, which in these games is something you see somewhat less often. Uh, mainly because, well, storage is less of a concern in these fast based games. And considering there's only the one planet, so games are somewhat faster based than they would normally be. Air factory going up, uh, so this will probably allow him to gather some valu very valuable scouting info. I do believe that Goda has, yeah, Goda seems to have somewhat more in the way of power than Spicy has. Second bot factory, of course, also for Spicy. Building some docks 
Alberto in docks. Yeah, one is building Fabers, the other one is building docks. First guy is at for Goda. Nice scouting around the planet. Air fighter going up as well. Hummingbirds are really viable because um, if your enemy went for oh, also a dox apparently is getting right. If the enemy went for an air fabricator, well air factory and air fabricators, then those air fabricators are really vulnerable to those uh, air fighters, which is a downside with going uh, regular air factory first over uh, bot factory. Has any player found the other one as of yet? Okay, so Goddard does know where Spicy's base is. Spicy, of course, has no idea whatsoever. Which uh, is a pretty significant advantage for Goddard because he knows exactly what he's going up against, he knows what factories have been built, and he can counter that. He's going for uh, an advanced bot factory, and he's producing it rather rapidly with four fabricated bots. More air fighters going up, probably against uh, any air rushes. Although air rushes are not really a concern because you didn't build an air factory first. Scouts going up for spicy as well now. This is something I like. He's actually building some extra factories further away from his base. Uh, this allows him to have a more global map presence and it also allows him to um, get around more quickly. And if there, this main base goes down, he actually has a fallback location. Of course, it's now getting scouted. And Spicy now knows exactly what's going on, except he doesn't know about this advanced factory here. The scouts just keep on missing it very narrowly, but they keep missing it. So yeah, he's, he has no idea about that, as of yet. Uh, some aerial patrols going on, forgotten now. Uh, it's actually quite a long patrol path. So it's not gonna deny much in the way of bomb runs or scouting at the moment. Still... No scout for Spicy, no. Spicy still doesn't know about an advanced bot factory that's being built. Still gonna take a while before it finishes. But he has a little army up of his own. Um, I do believe he's actually gonna attack with those. He might put him in a defensive position, which is which is definitely possible. But it doesn't look like it. Missile turret going down for Goddy. He also built the radar, so he can actually keep track of anything that might be headed towards him. Metal wise I do believe Spicy has more metal. Oh, he's actually going for it. Global map presence with those bot factories. I like this. I, It's something I haven't seen before. And I like the fact that he's being original about it. It also allows him to claim metal around these areas and actually control it better. Of course, nothing is gonna stop uh, an army of bots coming in and blowing it up. But it's definitely gonna delay him. Yeah, first bots coming in. Attacking the metal here. And the fabrics as well. Okay, the missile turret is now in range, but the missile turret will probably not be much of a match for these bots here. As you can see, it went down rather quickly. Spicy does know about that advanced bot factory now, so he should probably try and do something about that. The commander is coming in to deal with these bots, and hopefully allow that air factory to finish. Oh, he's going straight for the advanced bots, he doesn't even build a fabricator. So he's definitely going to try and defend this position, and he's pumping out a lot of uh, bots to be doing that, and he's helping it with a lot of bots as well. Oh, these fabricators are going down though. But I think this position will be secured uh, between the commander and these advanced bots, these slammers. I need to start remembering unit names. Um, will definitely be secured. Although there's a continuous line of bots coming in, so. It's gonna be hard to hang on to this position with just the one advanced bot factory. 
Does he have any other bot factories that are assisting? No, he does not. So he's up against the production capacity of six bot factories. Uh, well, six bot factories with another three that are, f well, four that are further away. So the sheer rush amount might actually be too much, especially if Gotta keeps his commander in the middle of Spicy's bots. He seems to be wanting to pull out, but he's being surrounded by these false bots that are actually chasing his commander. More bot factories going down, so Spice is actually going for a very heavy aggression. Um, does Gotta know about his factories going down? He does now. More to the point though, can he actually hang on? Because this is a lot of aggression and with just a few advanced bots and his commander in the thick of it, I don't see him hanging on. Advanced laser tower attempted uh, to be built by Spicy. It didn't complete though. Uh, an extra fubber. Is this a combat fubber? Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, actually trying to repair these units, keep them in combat, keep them fighting. I'm actually surprised at how much Gotta can do with as little units as he actually has. Another combat fabric coming in. And these will actually keep his fighting forces in good shape. So that's very nice that he's actually doing that. I don't see the combat fabric used nearly often enough. Another attempt to defensive line, but the uh, fabricators are just being torn apart here. Commander could actually throw down some single laser towers or missile turrets to help with the defense. Although it doesn't seem to be doing so as of yet. Few combat um, fabrics actually got taken out. Wow, God is really advancing. Uh, and he is leaving his commander somewhat unguarded. Although the commander does have lots of HP and with just um, deck one, well with just docks, it's hard to take a commander out. It's, it's possible, we saw it last game, but it takes quite a bit of effort to actually do it. And especially with the support that he's getting from these guys, it's gonna be harder still to take it out. And oh, there's even two uh, combat fabricators actually assisting. A third one on the way, and a continuous stream of slammers coming in. Does he actually try to make some bombers against this? No, he does not. He keeps continuing to make um, the hummingbirds, and hummingbirds, of course, not that useful against the land army. The commander for spice is also joining in. Possibly to fortify the defenses. But I don't like his chances if he's up alone. Well, if it's commander against commander, then I'm currently rooting for Gotta because Gotta actually has these two combat fabers assisting him. Oh, yes, this is not good for Spicy. Yes, this is GG. Well, well played. Uh, for second there, I thought Gotta was a goner, but he actually did very well. So that's, uh, that's actually his. Third game, it's a win streak at the moment for Gotta. I'm curious to see if he actually can hang on. Um, I do believe I will be casting Gotta again next game, depending on who is actually casting what. But it was a nice game, so thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, the next game will be going live in uh, quite a while. This was actually a very fast game. So, um, yeah, see you guys in about 30 ish minutes depending on how fast it goes. Keep Twitch open, if you hear noise then you know that the next match is about to begin. So, see you guys then.